Hey everyone, Erica with a K here. Today's video, I want to talk about what it was like meeting with the breast plastic surgeon for the first time. I know that I had previously talked about this briefly in other videos, but I just kind of wanted to talk about exactly what my experience was like. So first, when I met with my actual breast surgeon, she's the one who recommended me towards the breast plastic surgeon. And she was like, I want to make sure your scars are nice. I want to make sure you don't have dog ears. If you haven't done research on this, dog ears is basically when they leave some skin left over. Sometimes they do it purposely and sometimes they do it because they're just not as well trained or they just, it's not their specialty to do flat closures. This is kind of a newer thing that's taking off at this time and uh, not every surgeon knows exactly what they're doing. So she was like, I want you to meet with a breast plastic surgeon to make sure that your scars are good and no dog ears. And when she said no dog ears, I was like, she knows this woman knows that this isn't her specialty and i respect that so much and she's going to make sure that i'm going to somebody who knows how to do a final closure so that there's no extra skin some people do that on purpose to people who want to get this done as i had just said because they think like oh you'll change your mind and you want breast implants and it's like it's unacceptable completely unacceptable a, he was a man, but a woman came in first and she was like, what are you here for? And I told her what I was here for, aesthetic flat closure. And she was kind of shocked and was like, what? And she's like, I thought you wanted like a breast reduction or something. And I was like, no, I want, I want to go flat. And so I feel like she was kind of like smirking and thinking like, I didn't know my own mind. The breast surgeon comes in he's like, can I take a look? He looks, he measures, he does all of that stuff. And then he's like, okay, let's talk. So I basically shot everything down. I was like, I am here for an aesthetic flat closure my breast surgeon recommended me to you at this time i didn't have my results yet from the latest biopsy the microcalcifications and so he was like well we don't know if we can actually do a double mastectomy until we get those results because if it was cancerous and it did metastasize i believe they have to treat it before they can remove your breast that's what i've read on the internet and i believe that i'm saying that correctly i think it needs to be treated before you can just go right into removing the breast and so I was like, okay, I'm just letting you know that whatever the results are, I'm getting my breasts removed. Pretty sure I said it exactly like that. And he was like, okay, well, you know, we just need to make sure. I said like, I don't want dog ears. I think the only question I asked is where would my scar be? Would it be more underneath? Which would be more for like a top surgery for somebody transitioning? Um, or would it be across? Cause I've seen both on the internet. And he's like, it would be more across, you know, where, where your, your breast would be. He's the one who said, you know, you're gonna have drains, which I was like, yes, I know I've already looked this up. And then he's like, do you have any questions? And I was like, no. And then I looked to my husband, cause I've read online that a lot of women, basically when they tell a breast surgeon or somebody what they want, the breast surgeon kind of goes over their head and will ask their husband, like how you feel about this or whatever, as if, as if, as if their feelings about somebody's body would outrank the person living in the body it's it's wild it's wild and so i kind of knew that going into it and my husband's very aware of the patriarchy and it angers him as much as it angers me and so i kind of went over his head because i was like i know that the surgeon is going to ask my husband what he thinks and so i just looked at my husband i was like do you have any questions he may have asked make sure there's no dog ears or something like that because that was something i was super concerned about and he was like yep and that was it and i wanted to make sure that he knew my husband's on the same page not that that matters to me i'm still going to get this done but because of the world we live in, it does help that I guess the surgeon knew he was on the same page. It's a very like gloom, drab appointment. There was no like, oh, this is what you can look like with this size boob. And this is what you can look like with this size boob. It's like, dude, I've been there. I've been to every size boob from, you know, zero to double F, almost a G. I've been to every size. I know what my boobs look like at every stage. I don't want them. Also, I'm reducing my risk of getting breast cancer and they're ticking time bombs. Making them smaller doesn't make them less ticking time bombs. That's really important to know. It's not because of the size of my boob that I'm high risk for breast cancer. I just am high risk for breast cancer. It's not because of the size. And so reducing the size of it would not decrease my chances of not getting breast cancer. I would still be high risk because what I'm doing is removing all of the tissue as much as they possibly can. And that's why it's a 90% chance of not getting breast cancer when you get a double mastectomy and you get a flat closure. It's, it's only 90% because they do their best to remove all the tissue that they can, but sometimes you know, there's a little bit of tissue left behind and that little bit of tissue could become cancer as your cells can go rogue because that's all that cancer is, is your, your cells going rogue. That was the appointment. It was very drab. It was very matter of fact. Has he ever had somebody come in and say that? I don't know. With confidence? Don't know. But that was, that was my appointment. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Always advocate for yourself. If this is really what you want, say it loud, say it proud. 
and don't let anybody change your mind. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.